Africans, Kwaito music has always been an embodiment of a carefree and unapologetic confidence. Emerging at the dawn of democracy, the sound led a post-apartheid township subculture into the mainstream, with artists such as Atama Fukate, Duma Silela, Trumpis and Bumshaka leading a new generation of fearless artists who were unashamedly reflecting the complexities of urban South Africans in their music. While it's deeply linked to the history of the country, Kwaito music has found itself the subject of curious and exciting reinventions, with the most prominent being the New Age Kwaito movement, pioneered by the audacious sounds of Dirty Paraffin, consisting of OK Malum Cool Cat and Dr. Spicy. Spicy will make beats sometimes, or sometimes I'll be walking and I get like a melody, and I, I, start, play, I start playing it in my head, and then I'll come back, like maybe rap for him, and then he'll come back with a beat that matches, or then he'll show me another beat, then maybe that beat will be better than the, the first one that he made specifically for this, this track. So it's pretty organic. We look at how the duo were instrumental in solidifying this style of music. When Dirty Paraffin came onto the scene, they broke boundaries with their raw and infectious beats. We just started TGIF, in Pride TGIF, Good Friday TGIF, IF, 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 it's a Friday night show. They were not perfect by any means and continued the trend of unrepented self-expression that quite the music had started. In addition to the mid-tempo BPM and heavy bass lines that are similar to house music, New Age Guaito is more experimental, combining electronic sounds with layered sinks, racing hi-hats and kicks, as well as new wave sci-fi pop. Dirty Paraffin championed this transition from the old to the new, while creating a sound that reflects the millennial living in post apartheid date South Africa. Okay, Malum Cool Cat's vocal style is unrefined, lending from Guaito, hip-hop and 90s pop culture. He primarily raps in Isizulu, often offbeat and absurd one-liners informed by his colourful slang, which has become quite fashionable. His verses rarely ever have a structure in the traditional sense. Instead, it sounds like he's constantly improvising, giving us his fluid thoughts and run on lines and unconventional verses, a process he describes as organic. Perhaps the most captivating thing about Dirty Paraffin is how they have made rapping in your language cool again, something they believe has installed confidence to those who come after them. They have inspired a litany of new age Guaido acts who have owned and taken the sound to the next level. Artists such as Stiff Pup, Darky Fiction, Robin Third Floor, Boogie Banzola and Asep Shembe are some that are defining new age Guaido for themselves. As Vice puts it, they are borrowing visual palettes, slang and pop culture culture references and reworking it for a generation that grew up on MTV and the internet. The impression that Dirty Butterfin have left on the SA music scene extends beyond just music. It's about style and attitude, language and pride in coming from Ekasi. This is something that over half the population in South Africa can proudly relate to. Jump on my fence, it's stop nonsense. Jump on my fence, it's stop nonsense. Jump on my fence.